Sometimes geological places move on an odd historical path. It has been a historic garden, a rancho, and even the home of a hippie commune. This is Olimpali State Historic Park, a grassy 700-acre plot of land overlooking the San Pablo Bay in Marin County. And long before it was a hippie commune, it was Coast Miwok territory. This is, for the Coast Miwok, Olimpali is home, one of many homes. Uh, but it's one of the more important ones because it's a trade site. Much like Highway 101 is today, the land surrounding Olimpali was a heavily trafficked trade route for different indigenous tribes across California, and the Coast Miwok were at the center of it. It's a perfect little stopping ground in between, plus it's a really good area to find water, food, and really anything else you might need to live out here. Park interpreter Ryan Forbes says Olimpali means Southern Village, and the Coast Miwok lived here for thousands of years. These redwood coaches, as they're called, are replicas of the structures they slept in, but many of the grinding stones on the property are real evidence of how they lived. This is just created by grinding into the rock over the years, and uh, you end up creating for yourselves these sort of perfect mortar and pestles uh, that the Coast Miwok are able to use when processing some of the foods that they'll be eating here. Spanish explorers were the first to displace and enslave the Coast Miwok. Then, early settlers following the gold rush built a mansion on their land. This uh, particular mansion is built by the Burdell family. Mr. Burdell was a wealthy dentist in the 1860s, and his wife built an elaborate garden around the mansion. They lived here for many years until eventually the property was sold and another family moved in. So the hippie commune, uh, often called the Chosen Family, is a small group of individuals came out here around uh, 1967 to start sort of an alternative lifestyle group. The Chosen Family Commune was started by wealthy businessman Don McCoy, who wanted to start a utopian community. That community attracted all sorts of artists, including classic rock band The Grateful Dead, who lived here for just a few months. Right here in the pad, we have shots of them standing here and playing music. Even the commune will end up on one of their album covers. Do you, do you have a lot of deadheads making a pilgrimage out here? We do. Uh, there's a decent number of deadheads coming by to stop by and check this place out. The commune didn't last long. In 1969, the mansion caught fire. So an electrical wiring problem is probably what starts the fire, uh, and they're unable to really put it out or stop it before it does, well, all of this. State parks eventually took over the property in order to preserve the odd yet important history. I want us to recognize the people who came before us, but also the beauty of the places that we need to protect, like Olimpali. From Olimpali State Park, I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back roads.